There's a new gang in West Texas with roots linking them to the Midwest, and for whatever reason, it appears they may be causing trouble now in Midland. The physical damage done during a drive-by shooting on Clay Street remains tonight, one month after the attack. But the fear and mental damage left behind could be far worse. It's getting scary because um, I always knew there was gangs, but not that they would come and shoot up our houses, you know. The owner of the home agreed to speak with CBS 7, but did not want her face on camera. I just know it's the Milwaukee Kings that they come from Chicago, and they already got six of them in jail. Do you, th do you think there's more out there on the street? Oh, yeah. There's about at least 13, 14 more, maybe even more. Milwaukee Kings is the name of a gang that began in Chicago years ago, previously having ties to the Latin Kings. Factions of the gang have posted videos like this on YouTube. Officials working on the investigation, though, tell CBS 7 the Milwaukee Kings are a new gang in town. Three possible members have been arrested in connection with the shooting. Michael Espinoza and Antonio Valenzuela, charged with deadly conduct, and Adam Torres, charged with aggravated assault with a firearm. The crime isn't limited to Clay Street. Valenzuela was arrested for allegedly holding up this Midland snow cone stand at gunpoint. The Midland Police Department was unavailable for an interview on the subject today. Sheriff Gary Painter told CBS 7 that he is aware of the gang, but said they're not on his radar and not a big deal. The homeowner, however, remains worried. They beat up one of my nephews. They hit him with the bat on his head. He got nine stitches. And now they're threatening his sister, saying that, they're, that she's going to be scared when she sees the gun up her face. And it's the same guys, the Milwaukee Kings. Tonight, she's pleading for the violence to end, but she isn't sure that it will if Midland's newest gang is still on the streets. No, I don't think it's over, but I wish they wouldn't. I wish they would leave us alone because we're innocent. We don't have nothing to do with this. The Midland County District Attorney's Office is working on indictments for those arrested in connection with the drive-by shooting. Reporting in the newsroom, Bo Berman, CBS 7 News.